family, welcome back. Marshawn Alanio here. So today we're going to talk about why women give up on the relationship. Why women give up on the relationship. Now, I know that there are so many things and reasons why she could give up on the relationship, but today I'm only going to address five of them. Five reasons why your woman has given up on the relationship. Let's just jump into it because there's no reason to talk in circles. The first thing is literally the lack of attention. Um, I know once we get into these relationships, we have a tendency to believe that I got this person. I got her. I don't have to do anything or can give her minimal and things are still going to go swimmingly. Well, that's just not the case. Just like you give attention to your friends, the things that are important to you, let's say it that way. Just like you give attention to the things that you deem as important, your woman needs to be on top of that list or really high to the top of the list of your priorities. In order for the relationship to continue to grow, in order for it to continue to thrive, in order for her to feel like you get her, you understand her, you guys have to spend time together. You have to give her your attention. And it's not just attention every second or every blue moon or you playing on your phone and you playing your games or you doing whatever. Literally getting all of the distractions out of your way, having a conversation with her, giving her your undivided attention. Which brings me to point number two, because point number two literally goes into avoiding the deeper issues. I hear this all the time from my clients, all the time, where their complaints is, I'm trying to have a deeper conversation with him about X, Y, and Z. And whenever that happens, he either shuts down or he tries to change the subject or he makes it seem like the issue is not as big as it actually is. So it's just lingering, it's just hanging there, it's just hanging there, it never gets solved. And she gives up on the relationship because you keep avoiding the deeper issues. So whenever that happens, what I actually tell my clients to do is, I'm not gonna give you that secret. <laughs> yes, holding on to that one because Here's the thing, literally, if you just have a conversation with her, then it doesn't even matter what my secret is that she is doing to get you to talk. It doesn't even matter. If you, as the man who's watching this video, wants to get reconnected with your woman, then you need to face the deeper issues that she's bringing to you. Just like I talk to women about the things that you, have, as, as the man, has brought to her table time and time again that she needs to start really getting real on those issues. I am saying the exact same thing to you. Whatever it is that your woman keeps bringing to you, she keeps asking you this question over and over and over and over again. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired, but the reason why she keeps asking you the same question is because you have failed to give her a deeper explanation as to why X, Y, and Z keeps happening. Why has and it stopped? And why do we kept, keep having to have the same conversation? It's because you have yet to explain yourself deep enough for her to feel like, okay, that subject can rest. So the more that you avoid the issues in your relationship, the more disconnected you are with your woman. And so she's given up because it's like, how am I getting close to the man that I say that I love, that I'm laying, that I'm lying next to, that I'm giving my body to, that maybe I've built a family with children with, but I don't know who the heck this person is because every time we try to go deeper, he shuts down. He changes the subject. All of a sudden, something has come up that he has to give his time and attention to. And it's okay, literally, because I hear this. I literally was talking to one of my male clients today. And we were talking about how he was on a he was on a uh, vacation with a group of his buddies, and he was trying to have a deeper conversation about what where he wanted to go in his current relationship. And he said, "I shouldn't even brought it up because what I was trying to get from my boys was a deeper understanding, or if they have been in the situation, to give me some insight on it." And he was like, "It was an epic fail." Uh, I feel that my friends, his words, I feel that my friends felt that it wasn't a macho time. And he said, they even said, Hey man, we on vacation. We ain't really trying to do that right now. So the 
the support system that most women have, a lot of men do not have. And the men that want to have these conversations, the other men don't think that it's macho enough or why are we going down that road? And they don't realize how important it is for them to get, for them to support one another and give their support to each other. It's so much bigger than just the conversation right there. It's really like trying to have a life changing conversation and your friends just shut you down. I get it. Not to a bigger stint because I'm not a man, but I, because I hear it so much and this has been a complaint with men that you can't go to your buddies about certain topics. You need to go to somebody else that can actually help you to unravel all of these things that are going on up here that's actually keeping you disconnected from your woman. But you must talk about and address the deeper issues because if you don't, I'm telling you, you think that she's gone, she's definitely giving up. Which leads me to point number three. When you avoid the deeper issues, the intimacy, number three, the intimacy, intimacy has declined or is either non-existent. She's giving up because I'm not getting the time and attention, keeps avoiding the deeper issues. And if I can't get what I need emotionally from him, that means the intimacy including but not limited to the sex is declining in the relationship or is either non-existent. But you have control over turning this all around by being a big boy, right? Facing the issues, apologizing for the things that you did not uh, uh, address and why this situation has carried on this long. Start to give her some more attention. Start to uh, uh, attack those deeper issues, getting down to the root cause as to why these things are happening. And, and the, most of it is, has to do with the things that happen to all of us in our childhood. None of us have escaped some sort of uh, childhood trauma. There might be instances where it's deeper um, than, than other people, but you must face those things that happened in your past so you can address them, so you can continue or start to have healthy romantic relationships. And the truth of the matter is you're not going to have a healthy romantic relationship if you don't address the trauma that happened to you as a child. So all of these things are happening, which leads me to point number four, because now we're leading into lies and secrets. Because maybe you're tired of thinking that you have to have these conversations. Maybe you're starting to have some side conversations with people uh, of the opposite sex that you don't have any business having conversations with because you, you are not getting what you need in this relationship as well as the woman. So both of you are not getting exactly what you want or need in your current relationship. And so now you're starting to do some things, some shady things on the side or you're lying by omission. And what that actually means is because she didn't ask you a specific question about a specific thing, you don't reveal that information. Believing that, well, I ain't lied to her, she didn't ask. Well, if, you're, if you have nothing to hide, if there's no lies, if there are no secrets, then you can just blurt out the information when you guys are talking. Hey, baby, I forgot to tell you X, Y, and Z happened. But a lot of times that doesn't happen because you think that, I don't have to answer that question because it wasn't asked. That literally is a lie by omission because you know the information. She's not privy to the information. And so she's given up because she's tired of the lies. She's tired of the secrets, whatever those things are. The fifth and final thing, why your woman is giving up on this relationship is because she's just tired. She's sick and tired of being sick and tired. She's sick and tired of asking you for the things that she's telling you that she needs. Now, you may see it as her nagging. You may see it as her whining about the situation. But at the end of the day, if she's asking you these things, it's because she needs them. And guess what? Women need to feel security. We need to feel stability. We want you to be the leader. Right. And so if you're not doing any of these things, it's like, why are you here, bruh? Like, what you doing? She needs your emotional support. She needs your financial support. 
She needs your spiritual support. Are you leading in those areas? And if you're not taking the lead in those areas, right? Then she is just sick and tired of being sick and tired because you two are not growing together. You are actually growing apart. And if that's the case, why is she going to stay when she's feeling alone in the relationship with you? The truth of the matter is it's only a matter of time for her physical body to be gone out of the household. Because if your woman has already given up on you and she's doing and, and she and you notice these five things, the lack of attention, the you you are continuously to um, avoiding the deeper issues, the intimacy has declined or is non-existent, you have lies and secrets, or both of you have lies and secrets, and you can tell that she's just sick and tired of being sick and tired. And at this point, really when you can tell that she's sick and tired of being sick and tired, she's not asking you those things things that used to bother her. Like if, if you used to come home at two, three, five in the morning and she'd be up waiting for you and now she's in bed sleep, bruh, she almost gone. She almost gone. So it's only a matter of time for her physical body to be out the door for the breakup to happen, for the divorce to happen, because mentally she's already packed her bags and she's already gone. Now, if you need some help with any of this, look down below, reach out to your girl. I specifically help black women to get themselves together, to help them with their self-esteem so they can build up their self-confidence. So when it's time for them to choose the next relationship, then they have the actual tools and strategies that they need in order to get into a healthier relationship next time would lead to a healthier marriage because why I started YouTube and why I started talking about all of these relationship related issues is because I as well didn't receive the information, the tools, the strategies, the nothing when I was growing up. And so just like many of you, I bumped my head out here and now it's time for me to pass along this information because I did do my work right? I interviewed some of my exes to figure out why we didn't make it to the next level. And then I started working on those areas that they pointed out to me, as well as I read a plethora of books. I've taken courses. I've talked to couples. I've done a whole bunch of stuff. And now it's time for me to impart this information to you. So if you need some help, reach out to your girl. Information is down in the description box below. I love you guys. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Again, I am Marshawn Alanio, your favorite shift relationship strategist. And I will see you in the next video. Deuces, y'all.